Hey guys, I am Kyle with Rhino. In this video, we're gonna talk about tracker mode. If you've seen our videos about automatic face tracking, there are two different modes within this. One is called interview and one is called vlog. So first up, we're gonna talk about interview, how to use it and how it works. All right, so we have the app open in front of us. To toggle modes, you're gonna tap the icon in the top right. In interview mode, it's intended to track multiple people with an extremely dampened move profile. And that means it's gonna be really smooth even as people enter and exit the frame. To set it up, we're gonna tap the reframe icon and a blue circle is going to appear. Essentially, you move the blue circle around until your subject is framed up in your camera. So we already look like we're framed up okay. We're right on the top third. Let's say I move this down and press start to actually track and you'll see Brittany being reframed in real time. I'm gonna move it back up to the top third where I want it. Move it down just slightly. Give her a little bit more headspace. That looks about perfect. One thing you can do while using reframe is that you can pinch to zoom to try to match your focal length of your camera. Now that actually looks like it's framed up, but it changed my headspace. So I'm gonna move her back down and I think we're ready to go. The next feature to talk about is looping. There's an icon here I'm gonna tap. And what this does is it changes the looping speed of the slider. Without using any keyframes, we just set up an interview in a matter of seconds. Let me get in a frame and show you what it looks like when people enter and exit. How you doing, Brittany? Good, how are you? I am good. All right, so what this is gonna do when you have multiple people is it's gonna take the center point between our faces and use that to track. So even if I'm at a different height, it's gonna take the point in between both of our faces and track on that. So for the best results in this mode, you wanna have your subjects within about six feet. If they're further away, it could lose the subject if the lighting is harsh or too dark. So for best results, just stay within six feet. All right, let's take a look at the other mode in Tracker, which is vlog mode. This mode is intended for a single person, so Brittany is gonna be my model. And let's say that she wants to create her own content, but she doesn't have a cameraman to film her. Um, imagine I'm not here, and imagine she's setting this up by herself, but I wanna give you the tutorial. So let's go, we're already in vlog mode here. We have reframe up, because I'm gonna reframe Brittany once she gets into the frame to make sure her headspace looks good. Tracking speed is the new UI element we have here. So you can tap to change that. All depends on what you like. Fast is pretty snappy. You know, this is way different from interview mode where it's meant to track you very quickly instead of being very dampened for multiple people in an interview. I'm gonna adjust the tracking speed. Honestly, fast works pretty well for me. It's a pretty snappy, quick tracking. Uh, you can set it from slow to medium, depending on what your style is, if you want it to lag behind you more. One thing to note is this, this is face tracking, so you need to look at the camera for it to track your face. If it loses your face, it's going to search for you uh, for about three seconds and then time out. And then if it picks up your face again, it'll keep tracking. So uh, I'm going to press start on the tracking and Brittany, would yep. you go ahead and jump in the frame and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so it's super snappy. It picks her up instantly. I'll go ahead and walk back and forth. Perfect. Perfect, awesome. All right, now let's switch this to slow mode. Now keep going back and forth and you can see how it lags behind a little bit. Keep going. It's a lot more dampened, more similar to interview mode. And we'll go to medium a little bit faster. And then if we ramp it up to fast, it's gonna track you very quickly. 
All right, go ahead and stop this. Brittany, thank you so much for your help. Guys, if you have any questions about this feature, we are constantly iterating it. We have a feature request page on the website for ARC2. So please go there. Let us know what you want to use this for. We picked two use cases that we know a lot of our customers use, which are interviews and vlogs. And we want to try to automate and take some of that work out for you so that you can be more efficient in your workflow. But give us feedback because we want to improve. Uh, if you have any other questions, please reach out to support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.